Hey all, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing uh, to watch more videos like these. Now, today we are going to talk about the Template Studio for WinUI. And it's a great little tool or extension for the Visual Studio, as you can see. Uh, it's a, 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 an extension from Microsoft to help you, or I suppose as it says here, accelerates the creation of new WinUI apps using a wizard-based UI. So, you go ahead and you install, uh, download it, you'll get a installer here, you run the installer, in my case it's already installed. So once you have all that done, launch your Visual Studio. Uh, this was the test I was just doing there. So you just go and create a new project. And if you have the window selected and installed, you usually have the last three templates that gives you uh, the head start with the, the blank apps. But today we're looking at the template studio. You go ahead, give your project the name and the location and all that. Now, this is what you're faced with. Look at this, right? So you can have a blank page, a menu bar, or navigation. This is a project type, or I should say, like the software or the application you're building, how you want it to look like. We'll go over the navigation, press next, and the Beam Toolkit that comes with it. I don't think so, you can unselect it. Um, you can go and look at the details or whichever you want. It definitely helps you uh, implement uh, MVVM pretty uh, swiftly. Now we're going to add all these different pages that are available to us. And to delete them, you can just simply press on X. So I'll delete the main one, it was just a blank page, okay? So we'll go ahead and press next. There's other features that you can add. Some things are added by default. I think you can still delete some of those. Now the theme selection that comes, it's a very handy tool we'll see in a second. And I'm going to add the notifications as well, just to see. Uh, that actually shows you how the notifications look. And uh, obviously you can use them for your own uh, functionality as well. MS test. I'm not too sure what this is uh, because I haven't done too much of that so I'm going to just leave that for now but I'm sure it's a pretty useful thing uh, and we'll just wait for the project to be created here in our case and once it does it's uh, in the documentation of template studio that it should let you launch the application straight away so I'm going to press that but while we're waiting for that there's the get start, getting started page that you can go through. Task list, we'll look at that in a second. Um, and also how to add other items. You can go Solution Explorer and add the items and all that. You'll, you'll be able to do that pretty neatly uh, and pretty easily from here. And then uh, the application should be launched. The first time it takes, a, it takes a minute, but then it goes pretty quickly then. Uh, so it should be up there. You, they, they show you a notification from the get-go just to tell you how they will look and also what happens when the user presses a button on it and as you see here it says notification mode to do handle notification invocations when your app is ready and whatever you want to do with it. Now starting off look at this right so it's a beautiful application which was created within a few seconds for you right uh, after a few clicks and obviously it's going to be quicker if you just add one page at a time and work on top of it then and add more but I'm just trying to do a demo that's why I selected pretty much all the pages that we have this is your navigation here and if you make it small and um, like this it goes on top then and opens up here as well so for for a programmer or for a hobbyist like myself it could have taken me days uh, to actually come up with something like this right at a bare minimum with sample data but this is a great kickstart that it gives you that you can work away, right? So the first web view is, it's a, you can give it a link to your application or, or sorry, your website. It's a great promotional tool or if it's needed, actually, it's a neat little browser. You can click on a page and you can go back, I suppose. Uh, I thought these buttons will work. Oh, they do. Yeah, so that's that. The data grid is a beautiful, simple enough, but it gets you started on that, right? gives you a page with the data grid and different types of things that you can add to it content grid company a go back you can use this button to go back like the windows 11 theme uh, all that and it's similar enough here then and the list view then i believe is similar but everything is on a list on the left and you can see the information on the right now i love this that they have the windows settings or, or I mean application settings tucked away to the corner that's pretty neat for Windows uh, or for Microsoft to do I do love that concept but it loads up as a page anyway as you can see here and default dark which is my default anyway and light 
So I'll just give a quick run through these as well to see how do they look. Similar enough, just what you would expect, I suppose. And then also you can add stuff about your application here, replace with your app description. And also you can add hyperlinks, as you know, in WinUI and other applications um, to your websites or privacy statements and stuff. And that's about the app. And uh, now I'll just X out of it and quickly show you the task list. So uh, to do, so let's say we'll go with the first one. So it tells you to add all these things and you can change stuff. It just kind of guides you where you want to go or what you want to do to replace it with your own data because obviously they have added sample data in it like this companies and orders and stuff here and you can add your own uh, real data, handle your notifications here and all that they explain to you and obviously you can look into documentation to do that. Um, app one, this is your going to be main app in your solution. This is where all your views and view models are and then you will get a core app as well. I think they've used that for your their uh, sample data models and services and stuff. So I think that's about it. I'm just going to keep a very short video. I hope you liked the video. If you do like it, please give it a like and a share or and let me know in the comments what you think of it or what type of other videos you want me to make in the future. So we'll see you in another video.